All right, good morning. It's June 27th, and boy, do we got a lot to catch up on. Uh, my last two inspections, I had some camera difficulty and wasn't able to record, but a lot has happened since. About two weeks ago, I did an inspection and found very little brood, a lot more drone brood that I would expect, uh, but I did see a fair amount of worker brood, so I didn't think anything of it. Well, last weekend, I went ahead and did a check. Also had very little brood and didn't find the queen. No eggs. So I'm like, uh oh. I think uh, somehow I either ended up queenless, whether they decided she was, uh, wasn't was doing good enough and tried to supersede her. I did see a supersedure cell. Um, actually, and I got to thinking about it, it may have been a swarm cell because it's a little bit closer to the bottom of the frame. So that brings us to another thing is she may have swarmed so basically today I'm just gonna do an inspection of the bottom box and we're gonna check the status of that queen cell see if possibly maybe it hatched and I'm hoping that maybe she got out did a mating flight and maybe we'll know this inspection or next week if or not that queen is taken and uh, got mated and uh, hopefully be able to continue this colony. If not, I may need to go buy a queen or go buy a frame of some eggs and so they can make one from them. But we'll go ahead and get started and get along with the inspection. smoker going we're gonna go ahead and pop the inner cover here take a look I mean I got a, still got a good amount of bees in here so that's why I'm thinking maybe they swarmed and that's why I'm queenless right now but right now the only thing is that we're worried about is that if we have a queen or not because uh, we don't have a queen the future of this colony is kind of in an imbalance so, um, next, uh, next weekend we'll be doing mite treatments. I was going to do a sugar shake last week, uh, or last weekend, and I decided not to do it due to my level of being broodless, and I was even able to see varroa mites in my beetle traps. I counted six inside my beetle traps. So, therefore, I went ahead and determined I have a high mite load. I'm going to treat, and, uh, We'll be using oxalic acid vapor um, on that uh, for that treatment. So, um, all in all, that's what we're doing today. We're just going to try to see what's going on in here, and hopefully, hopefully, we have a new queen, maybe. We got a lot of honey. We got a lot of, of uh, food stores going on up here. So, you know, that's going good. We're just about at the end of the flow. Uh, right now, the tallow is just about done, if it's not done already. So, the food storage, they have enough. Dang. We got this one propolized good. Uh, all right. And another reason I kind of suspected something was going on They've been a lot more defensive than they usually are. Uh, I was kind of expecting it with the dearth coming up. 
uh, that they would be, but they'll also get more defensive when they're queenless. So that's what I'm thinking has been going on with that. But all in all, they're still good. They're not, they're not hard to manage or, and that's a heavy box. Ugh, gracious, that's heavy. All right. You know what? Let's see what we got going on. I think I'll be changing beetle traps out today, too. So, I'm going to put some new ones. New ones in here. We've been, of course, we've been, we've been catching our beetles right here so beetle traps are working I don't know if I can see them on this trap they were up on the top one for sure where I did see varroa mite and they're very small there we go I don't know if we can see that but right there that tiny little speck I looked at it under a microscope and that is a varroa mite so I do got mites probably not a real heavy load but I got enough to what I'm where I'm concerned and I'm going to go ahead and uh, be a responsible beekeeper and treat. Um, I wanted to be chemical free, but sometimes it's just best to, to treat and it's for the good of the colony. And uh, treatment free is a lot, a little bit more tedious. There's a lot to do with it so maybe one of these days we'll see give a little smoke here push them down but all in all even right now, they're not being too bad. They're not. I don't feel like I'm going to get stung. Now that I said that this early in the game, I'm going to get stung probably for the first time. And here we got, we got honey stores going on. So they're still bringing in nectar. They're building comb. That, uh, Pre-waxing the frame does the trick. I mean, I I won't put another frame in a hive without wa without pre-waxing them for sure because after wa waxing the frames, I mean, look how beautiful that is. They're drawing that that comb out so good. Got some honey going in there. It's so great. that whole top super right there is pretty much all honey um, so they're they're gonna have plenty of food storage I mean look at that look at how beautiful that is capped honey right there and uh, I can't wait till next year when I'm able to harvest some I'm hoping I'm able to get these girls through and we'll, we'll do all right.
did not want to do that, but it happens. Every once in a while you jolt one around. Checking my cells, seeing if I have any empties. I'm not seeing eggs yet. Got a larva. Huh. I do have a larva in there. It's an interesting thing. Now we're getting into some brood. Right there, that was a queen cell, and it's showing that she hatched. She is not in the cell anymore, so there is a good chance. I'm hoping that maybe she went out, got maiden, and we'll have a queen here pretty soon. Not seeing any other cups. Got your larva. There's a good chance that. I'm hoping that she went out and got mated, or is getting mated, and makes it back so we can have a good lane queen, I hope. There's a, a drone emerging. A little baby drone coming, getting ready to come into the world.
Well, I'm not seeing the new queen, but if she's not mated, she's going to be real hard to see anyway. She's going to be about the size of one of the regular bees. I think I'm just going to go ahead and put this together, and uh, we'll let nature take its course, and uh, maybe I'll check it next week. And if I don't have eggs next weekend, I'll be looking uh, to uh, possibly getting another queen. So that's all we can do. That is all we can do. Well, what are you all gathering there? That's a good way to get squished, girls. Every once in a while you feel them vibrate in your glove. Well, that's why a lot of beekeepers don't like wearing gloves. It just gives them something to... So. Sometimes they get hung up on you and sting you. Want to make sure your suit pretty well covering stuff. I had one just earlier get into me, and I think I took a sting in the belly. But luckily, it's not hurting too bad. I feel a little twinge. That's how I think possibly I got stung. But I guess that'll be my first. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna, ha it was gonna happen sooner or later. Beetles in there. Wish I could get them, but just let nature take it. Oh, look at that. A bee jumped right on that beetle. Good job, girl. So they can hold their own. That's a good thing.
again. I'm just filling up my beetle traps. I'm going to put some new beetle traps in over here on this side. Just a little bit of oil. You don't want to spill any inside the hive. Just enough that when the beetles get in there, they can't. They don't get. Uh, they can't get out. Give them any places to hide. That's all I can do right now. Um, the only thing we were able to verify is that the queen did emerge from that cell. So she's out there somewhere, hopefully, getting mated and going to start laying some eggs. I didn't see any eggs, so which I kind of wasn't expecting. I was hopeful that maybe there would be some in there, but uh, all in all. Um, I'm seeing a progress. Uh, I should know more next weekend. And uh, we'll just go from there, I guess. But I'm going to go ahead and put this top box back on and we'll uh, get ready to button them up. Heavy, heavy, heavy box. So there's a lot of honey up there.
kind of lied about this. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick check of these traps here. Very good. Nothing in them. But, uh, I'm not going to mess with this top box. I'm just going to go ahead and rebate my traps, and we'll we're going to leave it alone until next week. And we'll see if we have any improvement. Well, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. We'll see what happens. Let's give them a little more time and we'll go from there. Uh, maybe next week, uh, if I don't see anything, I'll have enough, uh, I'll have enough to make a decision on what I need to do. Other than that, that's it. Uh, we'll close them up and until next time. Right here looking at the bottom of a beetle trap. You can see we got some small high beetles in there. And I don't think I can zoom in anymore, unfortunately. There we go. You can see the Varroa mites too, if I get to zoom in. Right there you can see a Varroa mite. Anyways, that's just one of the things we got to deal with as beekeepers. Common pests.